What's popping, world? Grinding on wine. Man, man, man. The guests just keep getting better. With Black History Month, <laughs> it's just going up. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not even finna give the intro and take too long. I'm gonna go ahead and bring on Nakel Smith. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I did, Gary. Thank you, Ray. You already know, man. You already hey. know. Oh, yeah. Come on, Gary. You already on know. Now. We go back. Bro, so, go so back. back. So far back to, to my smoking days. That's all I'm going to say. It's a long time. Oh, God. Like, all right. Way back. Like, so way, way back. Way back. Um, you know, I think about that first trip, with that real trip, when we pulled up to the original uh, park, that in that private park that I, you know, yeah, yo, yeah. Oh, we not say that? Yeah. All I, right, all right, for sure, for sure. We pull out to that original private park, and, I, and, you know, it's just like, you hear so many things about L.A. in the Bay Area, because that was, like, one of my first Los Angeles trips yeah. as, like, an adult, besides, like, going to, like, a Disneyland. Yeah. And then you guys are on top of the world at that time. You know what I'm saying? It's like, y'all really have the city on y'all back. You know, the block is, like, some Fairfax is, like, this myth that, hey, when you go down this block, these black kids are having fun and doing what they want and yeah. blah, 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 and stuff like that, so... You know, that's such a long time ago, bro. It's like ages ago, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we've seen a lot of people not be here. You feel me? Like, not a lot of people are are with us today, Hell but yeah. we are thankful for those times. But I reflect on that first trip, like, when I'm shaking your hand and watching you be cool, I just thought, I was, I was like, damn, are they going to be like how people say in Los Angeles is? Like, where they not cool and don't want to dap up people and not be a certain way, you nah, feel me? It was nah. not like that at all. It was like... It was instantly like, nah, for sure. You know, and I always respected that, man. Shout out to Jim T making uh, that yeah. happen. Oh, God. Shout out Jim Theobo on that original real trip long time ago. Bring my, me and my little brother Kobe out to Los Angeles to meet Knock. Knock, how you doing? Bro, I'm doing good, bro. Yeah? I'm doing good. I've been skating hella. At this point, it's like, if I'm not pushing myself forward, yeah. then I'm just keeping myself along like Thank and that's you. something that when i was a younger skater i used to see that like you'll see a skater and it's like man i'm not gonna say like bro not trying hard but it's like oh okay like you could see like when somebody not really that hungry mm. it could be your favorite skater too and you like damn like this is what i wanted from this part that i seen that was coming out or whatever mm -hmm. so like the main thing that i've been on is just doing tricks that i don't normally do being focused and like, yeah, it might be harder to get a clip. It might take me a couple of days, go back to a spot, but like, it, it's more fulfilling because it's something that I know I haven't done yet, and it's something that when my part come out, other people who fans of me ain't seen me do none of these tricks like that either. Oh, so it's like, cause I know we had a conversation. You was talking about you don't spin. It's like, yeah, no, nah, I'm like, I'm, I got new shit where it's like, yeah. so then, and then, all right, I started thinking about, like, don't spread all your tricks out. Okay. Like, a huge part of skating is, like, quality control. Mm. Like. Thanks. 100%. So, you got to think about it, like, I done did tricks on spots, and it's, like, wiped off the internet just because of, like, where you put it out at. And, like, how I put out, because people got different different licensing yeah. clauses, and they go about it different True. ways. So, it's, like, I really kind of feel like, damn, I put in all, like, I put in a lot of work, but you wouldn't be able to tell, because it's, like, oh, this over here, this over there, this came out on a little trailer, and then yeah. I was in a lot of videos where it's not, like, a part, like, besides, like, one of my first parts, then, like, Boom, like, Cherry came out. That's, like, a big montage. Yeah. And then, blessed I was filming the movie. Yeah. So, I didn't get to give it, like, my full, 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 like. Damn, you got full potential. You feel cool. me? Then, like, with the Adidas video, I got hurt. Then, like, so it's, like, it's just different things that go into it than where it's, like. You're referring to Away Days, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. in Away Days, in Away Days. So then it's like, all right, you'll get a couple of clips on the trip video or like everybody coming like, oh, we got a trip coming to, da, 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 or we going to go on a trip out here. And it's like, you, you get a good trip. Yeah. But then you also know, like, if I don't get a trip on this trip, then I'm not going to be in the edit or I'm not going to be a part of the thing. Yeah. So it's like, you don't get like a lot of time to compile your footage. 
which like I believe is what makes if you see somebody grow up in their part, like that's what you want. You want to see and somebody with grow different, up. You you don't mean like in age. You mean in talent, correct? Like you do you in mean talent and like, style and like just phases. Like yeah, like yeah. you might see a part. Bro got long hair. He cut. He got. He got a cut. He got a mohawk. He got a body. Yeah. He got hair again. Like now it's a short. Like whatever it may be. Like oh okay. He his he was wearing this, and he graduated into feeling like comfortable in this mm -hmm. or like this. Like you feel me? Like it's just to see people. And then like honestly. Like, I've been in this thing for a long time, so it ain't yeah. no, like, growing. That's what I was going to say. I was going to ask you, like, as far as, because, you know, that's, like, today, too. All this, all the newfound structure you're trying to say is, like, make more quality than quantity, right, is what you're saying? T type yeah, for sure, for sure. And then it's like, this has been a long trip for you. Like, this yeah, hell yeah. skateboarding has been in your life for a really long time. Yeah. So, so now that, that makes me want to, like, kind of ask you, where does it start for you? Where the skateboarding, skateboarding start? Yeah. yeah. What's like, the age and the area that skateboarding starts for you? Shit. Uh, I was like three years old when I would go to like Cream House. He gave me my first skateboard. Yeah. I didn't. I thought that was. I thought that was so far <laughs> when I was young. You thought you was going on this long journey from the crib? Yeah, you know, everything. Like I stayed on King and Western, so like. Crescent Heights, when you're a little kid, you get in the car, you just start seeing the area change. You're like, oh, I got to be far. <laughs> you feel me? You're like, hey, whoa. Like, I ain't never seen this. Like, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where it started. Then, all right, boom, I moved to Inglewood with my pops. And we was just, like, I was just by myself a lot. I had a couple friends on my block. But, like, that's when I started skating outside. Like, asked my pops, like, yo, I, I could go outside. Yeah. yeah, I'd just be outside all day skating flat ground. Like it was like a little, a little bump. I used to do it at my mama house too, but a little curb cut. Yeah, I didn't. But like I didn't. I wasn't on some like every day. I got my skateboard until I was in fifth grade. Okay, yeah. So I go skate to the bus stop, skate flat at the bus stop to the bus came, go drop my board off in the office, go to school, like. It was some other kids that would bring their board to school, so we'll like well. yeah. play skate. Like then, what's the trick selection at that point? Like when you're in fifth grade, is it just like shoves or like because you're playing games of skate? Are you playing SK eight? Are you you guys are going all the way to E or? I mean, we go all the way to E, but okay. we do it. We 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 get it by. Off, yeah, we get it by. Like <laughs> we go the fakey big spins ain't spent all the way. You feel me? Like yeah, we we definitely like. All right, wait. I'll tell you, I had I had. Shovis, not pop shovis, shovis. Mm. Just shovis. No, no pop, pop, no pop. No, no pop, pop, no pop. <laughs> I had kickflip. I had I had varial flip, but I thought that I was doing tray flips. Oh when I could like okay. I went to the skate shop, like, look y'all, look y'all, I learned how to tray flip, I learned how to tray flip. Cause I see everybody doing it, like everybody got tray flips. So I'm like, what trick is this? Like, how y'all do this one? Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, you just gotta scoop it, but so I do that and varial flip wet like I'm doing <laughs> Every it wet time I like I tell you like I went home when we get like uh, Mama come outside like, I had a 360 flip Mama come outside and I'm doing it she like wow that's good <laughs> I right, bro pulled up to the skate shop oh my mama I got pulled it. up to the skate shop I said everybody look I learned how to do it they like low key like got around like yeah. watch I did the wettest varial flip and it was like damn that was wet that was not a 360 flip that was a varial flip but that was good though yeah. I was crushed. <laughs> I was like, ain't no way. So then they taught me, like, how to start doing it. Like, mm -hmm. this is how you get to go all the way around. Mm -hmm. So like, I had so much trouble with that. It took a while, right? I mean, process. yeah, like, because it's just like, all right. So then, all right, so now we're doing heel flips sometimes. Like, I wasn't a heel flipper. I was a kick flipper. But then it's like, all right, you got your heel flip. Like, Game of Skate, that's when we were still doing manuals to cracks. Like, yeah, manual it. line to line. Like, I got two lines. Yeah, like, nah, okay. nah, nah. You stopped that line and a half. Oh, you, that's, a, that's, a, that's a K. Oh, Hell no. Nah. I told you to go two lines. We doing liberties. If I don't hear like, it's, it's yeah. not it. Yeah, so. <laughs> we doing Rodney Mellet tricks. Like. So, so you saying skateboarding comes in your life at three, right? Yeah. And, you know, that's like. As far really, as awareness. As far as awareness of the skateboard. And do you think that that actually played in a big role of you being able to learn the tricks that you did at like 10 years old 
because just all those years of having skateboarding be familiar to you was like when you decided to start doing tricks, did those come easy? Just because you had so much like balance, like you said, you were you were, you were riding occasionally. I think more than anything, the thing that made me, I guess, be able to learn tricks is how much I skateboarded just regular like that's what I'm saying. Pushing, yeah, like, just going like having yeah. that muscle memory and being like attached to the board from three to ten. Low key helped. Low key. See, it's, that's why I, that's like a real construct that I like. I think about. But then I feel like the reason that's the same reason because I ain't go to no skate parks for a long yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. That's the same reason why you like you don't spin, you don't do this. Like yeah. I'm not like good at like super super good at transition. Mm -hmm. Like because I ain't never skate at a skate park until later. Yeah. So it's like I got flat and a lot of tricks, but like then then once I started going to the skate parks, so it changed. That's when it was like. You start seeing kids that's like doing things that you like, oh hell, like and what age is that for you? When you start to kinda of like see other kids at the skate park and things like that? Well, Pelo the first skate park I ever went to in my life. Okay. Which is funny. Yeah. Cause I, it's in the valley and I'm not from the valley, but I, I just lived out there for a little second. Not even the least bit. So like <laughs> it's just but then it's funny too because of like Pelo presence is skating now, like I be feeling dumb all like, I'm like, dang. Like, <laughs> Y'all like Pella? Like, I was here before they had the whole ball section. Like, it was just that one little, little side. street thing? Yeah, like, wow. it was just that, like, the, the skate park Loki ended at the part where it's like... That park's an expansion park that, that wasn't built like that? I mean, everything that was there when I first went there is there. Okay, but then you said but there's they additions. literally, like, the bowl and, like, the whole, like, like, the bowl, the snake run, yeah. how that bowl, like... Do all that, it's all new, like, new every, additions. The, the, that little bowl over there, all that's new. Was that all grass before? Or like just dust or dirt? I think it was dirt. Okay. So I you so you, so you classic I was skating some uh I was skating some J's. Like <laughs> I, I, I was with it. I was with it. As he should. You know, I feel about Jordans. So so now you're you're going to the skate park, you're at Pedlo, you're in the valley. You're not like you said, you're not from the valley. I was in skate school. Like okay. they had classes. Like, so you could go to the skate park and my mama like like, they had a skate camp, too, but it was, like, a class. It would be, like... Did, did Kevin? No, 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 You just told us about this. Well, he was talking He was probably talking about Castle. He used to go to Castle. Okay. I yeah. never went to Castle a day in my life, though. Okay. But then, I, like, that's how everybody knew each other, like, through Castle. Yeah. And, like, all the good skaters. Okay. I ain't know no good skaters. Like, I just knew my homies, like... Exactly. But, like, Kevin was one, my one homie. He was like, all right, you know all these skaters. Like, when you go to a skate park and you see, like, the kids, like... Like the kids that's like filming each yes. other and like practicing their runs, like young, right. yeah, like K White, yep, K White, bro. <laughs> he know everybody, everybody, bro. He's one of them. He know everybody, bro. Yeah. So I kind of leaned on them to like know people. Like, I wouldn't know. I was just like moving around like that. Yeah. So so that's how you get over to that and. Going as far as the valley is that, like you said, that's the skate school. So they they offer that opportunity. And yeah, did but it feel better to kind of like skate over there or anything like that? I mean, it was funny because like they was teaching people how to drop in. Yeah, and I learned that like dumb quick. <laughs> like, you know, it was just like, <laughs> like, all right, like they kept up in my class, like like every week I go because I, I it was some, it, I think it was something where it's like you couldn't skate the park if, unless you was in the. school class in the skate school because like, okay. it was like four classes going on or something yeah. so like until a certain time mm -hmm. but I used to play basketball at that same time too okay. like at uh, Balboa Park okay so we're just like basketball recreationally like just you're just hooping like, like I was on like a bad like I would go to team. basketball practice yeah oh damn okay and, and, and then I played a whole season and then like I don't know I was on the team with the coach's son though that's fire. So no, that's that's not fire. No, like that's I had that situation where I was on the team with a coach's son and we went all the way and lost in the finals. Like, oh the yeah, like I don't I don't know if we lost or if we were, I think we might have lost low key, but like it was during the time where everybody get a trophy, just the winter get a bigger <laughs> trophy. Yeah. But look though, I got a trophy because our trophy was kind of big. Like it, we didn't get the little, I didn't nah, get the little, the baby, nice but like I had a nice side. I think My we got like second or third, up, and it's gold and green and it's nice. You got your name on it. Yep. Mine did no, it. That's no, what no. I said. Fuck basketball. I mean. That's why I stopped caring yeah. about it. Cause yeah. I, bro, <laughs> oh my mama, we all sit at the pizza party. They pass out the trophies. I get what it's a Ricky Forsberg. I'm like, oh, I got the wrong trophy. Like they're like, 
nah, you know, you signed up a little late. I'm like, what? Like, I've been coming here for months. Well, just like, don't give me one. Oh, like, oh. like don't give me no runner up trophy that don't got my name on it. It's just not. Nah, how- it was okay. They it laid out everything I needed right there. I said I am, I do not care about basketball, bro, because I'm already on the team with the coach's son. Yeah. So all the plays about him. Yeah. He, yeah, they having like intimate moments like yeah. on the court. This is a kid named it's, Joseph. Yeah, like it's like, bro, come on, bro, like coach's sons is is horrible. Yeah, you get him the ball. I'm like, ah. Uh. <laughs> Like, so 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 basketball just becomes this this thing of the past, and you're like we're eleven or twelve at this point, right? Yeah. And then now you're in the skate park. Do you and you say you're getting everything super fast, so your skill level is just kind of growing at this skate school. Yeah, because I wasn't scary. I busted my mouth at the skate park. You're like low key knocked myself out doing what? Rolling. All right. So you've been to Pella, right? In? You you you've been to Pella? Yes. So you know how, all right, it's that middle section where that long rail out on one yes. side, it's the bank on one side, and yep. then they got the little thing that go up straight and down before it go, like, on, on the box. Like, I, I'll paint the picture for the camera. It's like up. It's like, it it go, it's a bank. Then it's a bank. It? Then it's like a little bank right here. Yeah. And it dropped down like a ledge, but it's half of the bank. Yeah. So then it's another bank that goes down. Yeah, and then that rolls all the way down to that transition. To the little, to the yeah. little quarter pipe. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking that it all go the same way, and I roll off the, off the, like, the part that is a ledge, and I just fall straight to the floor. Bow, smack my face. And, like, damn. Like, I was bleeding with everything. Like, the whole class looked up. I'm like, like I, look, I had the whole class over me while I was looking up. Oh, because you blacked out. You, you, you was out for a second, you think? I swear to God. Damn. Like. <laughs> Damn. It's cold. It, it's funny too. It's cold. <laughs> I, I I think back, like, like ain't nobody ever knocked me out. So I'd be like, dang. I wonder, like, what that feels like. Feel like. <laughs> but I but experienced it that. two times. Yeah, you can reference that. Skating, because I, I knocked myself out then. Mm-hmm. But I was just young. I just remember, well, I woke up and I was dazed. Like, I was like, whoa. Like, yeah. my mom had to help walk me. Like, it, 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 like, it was funny. Damn. Big but, smacked out. Yeah. And then the same thing happened at Culver when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. By this time, I'm like. Explain that story. What happened? I'm like, probably like 13. Mm-hmm. Now I'm like a full blown skater. Like, <laughs> I got. You got it. Tray flips down stuff. Oh, you. Oh, so like, you. Kick flip. You ripping at this point. Like, I was trying to learn Nolly back heels. Like, this is like when Furby and it was like, oh, damn. Furby had Nolly back heels, yep. Antoine yep. had supers on, baggy jeans, skinny, tight shirt. The whole thing. Like, yeah. So, we had the skate party. We just, everybody be at the skate party. Like, Culver Days was like, Culver Days was like skate, like skateboarding Fairfax. Mm. Like, everybody that went to Culver. Doing, like, was there. Everybody went to Culver. Okay. So, like, You'll see so many people, bro. Like, but yeah, one day we was all in the deep. Uh, we was all in the bowl, like skate the deep end. But it's like ten little kids in the deep end, like. Yeah. So we all take a turns, take a turns, bro. I go, and my and this other kid go at the same time. This kid Nico, we we go and like I didn't know he was going, so we just went. And then when we came up, bow, we collided, and I I, I was same thing. I woke up and it was like people over me. And like the ambulance was there. Oh, like the ambulance was there already. Like, because oh. I remember I got up and they was like, they was like, they helped me out the bowl. And I was like, all right, like, thank you. Like, all right, for sure. <laughs> yeah, and they like, they like, I'm like, oh, dang. Like, I just. So uh, you dazed again? Yeah, I was kind of dazed, but I was so adamant about them not taking me. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was like, I'm good now. Like, I was finna run away. Like, I was like, because I just knew, like, all you hear is ambulance ride cost so much money. Ambulance ride. I said, y'all not taking me to ambulance. Like, ain't no way. Yeah, I'm not getting. Ain't no way. Trouble. They like you a minor, and, and and you was knocked out just now. Like, like we gotta take you. Yeah. Like we have to. Like we, you, because you're underage, we can't just leave you here. Just, yeah, you don't. You don't have the right to make that decision. Man, I must. I call my pops. He was over. He was like out in Vegas doing some other sh- stuff. Yeah. I was so mad. <laughs> I was so she was in a mad, position at that bro. Point. Yeah. I was just like, I can't believe this. So, so you, you feel like running away, but then it's crazy how you're saying like at that point you're tray flipping down stuff. So it's almost like from 11 to 13, this true progression takes off. 
you you yeah, feel established. You're watching all these people kind of rip around you. And then now, now that you're sculpting this, are we filming anything? Are we are we with a no. crew? So it's it's still just I'm like, just moving around the city. I'll be at the skate park. Maybe maybe I might have been skating like at Hollywood High. At the five and the eight stair okay. sometimes. Yep. But I was still in school. So I didn't start really filming till middle school, like yeah. seventh and eighth grade. Okay. I was trying to film in sixth grade. I was still in elementary school in sixth grade because my elementary school went to sixth grade. Yep. You know, a lot of schools we started mm-hmm. middle school in sixth grade. Six, seven, eight. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So I was just like, I didn't really like. I was moving around the city by myself, but I kind of was just like, I go to the skate shop, watch skate videos. Skate shop. 118. Okay. This is like when I was in elementary. Yeah. Once I started, once I got in middle school, that's when I started going to uh, like Fairfax area. Okay. I kind of, I'm trying to not be controversial. Like I, I kind of got stuff to say, but I'm not trying to be controversial. Okay. Uh, and you're, this is a safe space to do that because the the way we end the episode is to always like say that. Well, I keep it a hundred thing. Yeah, I keep ahead. it a hundred thing. Well, see, because I try to be a businessman and skate it now. Like, yeah, you ahead. feel me? I don't want to be. And I if don't... you got good energy, knock, align that. Because I'm not for clickbait. I want you to, whatever you feel like needs to be presented to the world, present it. That's what we I'm going to just express that I know it's, it's, a, it's a dude from a skate shop. That always like he brought my name up in a nine club mm-hmm. because I didn't mention his name, but it's like my experience in skating is not the same as like a, a child prodigy that everybody's like, do this, do this, do this. Like I I knocked on doors, people did me cold. Like, so like why would I highlight? Ex- yeah, like show you love. Because like when everybody from when you feel me, like you was selling me a dream at one point. hundred percent. And then all these other people came around. Okay, you got them now. I can't get a board for real. Like, yeah. so why would you like that? But that this is what I'm saying. Like, it's no point even. I just want to let it be known, though, when, in a sense. Yeah, that, like, that's yeah. Okay. To any kid coming up, bro, just because somebody will give you a board or do this, you gotta You're still not be to able. Them. You ain't indebted to nobody. No. Like, thank you. You're, Very yeah. thankful. And that's the thing. We're thankful. And I to keep it a hundred by me leaving you out is respect. Mm. Cause if I told the truth, yeah, it's not that nice. Exactly. So like, why you want me to turn this show? Cause I'm gonna tell the truth about it. Like, tell this is what really what I go through. So like, you know, yeah. But that's one thing. That's why I have you. Like, I ain't, I ain't never had no interview in a mag for real. Like the full like thing. Yeah. I had like photos and stuff like from Tris, but like never like got to really. Yeah. So I feel like my that that. It's not too many places where I get to like talk, and I know a lot of people be talking about me. Yeah, on exactly. stuff like this. Exactly. Like, so it's like, but if like you said to to conduct yourself like a businessman, and and knowing there's a there might be a nasty truth about whatever you want to talk about. Yeah, it could just it just drags down the energy. Exactly. You know but it's like this is the thing too. It's like I'm not here to avoid it. You already know. But I also I'm, you know I'm very confrontational. I love could, it. That's what I'm saying, but bro. At the same time, if we're if we're on the steps of improvement, it's time to kind of like go in those passages because those lead to peace more than opening the like. Because when I was on the nine club, there's all the things that happened, like with the Sodi talks and all this other stuff. And yeah, everybody thought I was like trying to be rude to them. I'm like, bro, like I love everybody in that room. But when it comes to Jones, of course I'm like, yeah, I don't want to hear facts, it. Facts. And then another thing is when Jerron was like asking me, he's like, oh, uh, test is gangster. I'm like, bro, like. I said, like, I was like, oh, I'm a bitch. I can't fight. Like, I'm just saying shit like that because I'm saying things in, like, regards of I'm not trying to open up this gangsta. I don't want you to sit at your house like, oh, yeah, we're going to f- do whatever. I don't want you to think like that. Yeah. It, it's not that. I don't want you to think like that, though. I don't want to give negative nothing. I want to be I want to be a safe space for skateboarding, though. So if you yeah, if you have to get it out and it, and it feels like it needs, like, the message behind you saying, hey, kids, if they gave you a board, it's way better than the person's name and any issue that you. But do you know, I be see like <laughs> you feel me like okay, it's cool. You you always gotta be the bigger person, but like at the end of the day, yeah. you know how they be talking about me. Yes, 
and you know the type of person like uh, we could talk about it 100 percent. but like they'll never understand so there's no point like yeah. you know nobody ever gonna understand it from my point of view or my perspective because everybody relate mm-hmm. to other people yes like my life way more yeah. throw it off so it's like like i just realized like damn like Maybe, you know, you just realize your audience. Yeah. You feel me? Because, like, one thing I say, like, skateboarding is so dear to me, cause I, and I'm so passionate about it, because, like, like throughout all these years, 10 to 11, 13, 14, like, oh, through all my progression of skating and all that, like, I needed it. Like bad, mm, yes. You feel me? It so, was. Like, it was like you know how pe- some people use it as like an escape from school. This is like an escape to not, yeah, not like go to hell. Mentally. Exactly, exactly. So it's like, so it's like it just it just turned into one of them things where it's like, bro, like when you dealing with people and you got adults dealing with kids that. Not every kid come from a background where they foundation solid. Yeah. So, like, to take, I'm not going to say take advantage, but, like, like, that really hurt my feelings. Like, stuff like that really, really hurt my feelings because, like, skateboarding is something that, like, I'm connected to it through my child self, and I'm not really connected to much through my child self. So it's like. Except family. Yeah, but, like, my family done changed so much. Like, it's just, it's it's a lot. So, it's, like, when you get into it and it's, like, it's, like, you sold a dream to the purest version of me. Mm. You know? And I always, I always get behind, like, I get behind the people that support me 100% because I just be grateful yeah. For the support, I'd be grateful for the opportunity. I'd be grateful for the love. Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? And then people like use that type of stuff against you, and it kind of just like it throw you off mentally. You gotta see. This is the other thing about humans, though. It's like people love playing on success. People love being like, I had a role in this kid's success. That's their biggest thing too. So it's like whenever they've yeah, done something special for you, yeah, but it'd be you, backwards, bro. Honey. Like it'd be backwards because the whole thing is. They only it's care a, about your success when you succeed. Yeah, of they course. don't care about it when Ooh. you're trying to figure it out. When you like, when you on your road to success, everybody gonna doubt you. As yeah. soon as you succeed, everybody gonna be like, "We was right there. We but proud of you." Thank that's you. That's what humans do. It's not to say that it's okay. What who, what humans happen. do that? Humans be doing that, bro. They be not like, me trying to. No, hell no. Not, that's not, what I'm saying though. So if is, I but how you think and what you've been through and what we've experienced in life, like you said, is our difference. But there's a lot of typical humans. There's a lot of people that think in the same globule that will stand in that line. It's like the sheep. Like, you feel me out? People kind of say the sheep versus the wolf. 100%. So when that is happening to you, like when those basic things happen to me, that's how I know how to be the bigger person. But if it was somebody that was like-minded like me that did it, that's when I hate it. That's when it actually kind of defeats me because I'm like, bro, I know you. See, but the thing is, when it's somebody... When it's somebody that's like minded, mm-hmm. you could communicate on a quicker level, so it's low key easier. Yeah. When it's somebody that's not like minded, and somebody try to like, it's bro, people be playing real life mental games. Yeah, hundred percent. You feel me? And it's just like, all right, because somebody might know something, something about your upbringing or some about your past life or some, the way that people set it up to like, to deal with you like communication, simple, simple stuff. Yeah. You feel me? Like if you somebody that I answer the phone for every time and I can't get you on the phone, Mm -hmm. that's weird. It's hell. Especially if we got, it's business on the floor. So it's like, if I got an idea, if me and bro got an idea, we want to do some, and now your energy switch after we done made you all this money and did all you ain't never had no clear communication with us. Mm. You feel me? So it's like, dang. Then you start feeling like, oh, okay. I'm 
cool buddy buddy as long as I'm making you money. Money. Ooh. Soon as I got you feel me, soon as I want to do something else, now the whole communication that's bad business. Of course. Because there's real questions like how much pro- how many products you got with my name on it made so that we could do this in a seamless way. But nah. People be in their emotions because everybody got an ego. But yeah. then it's like, bro, just because a thousand fifty year old dudes is gonna tell you, Oh my god, I praise you, you're the goat, da 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 like people don't be having no backbone in real life. You can't stand on nothing for real because you can't have a simple conversation. And that's why I'm saying it's like when you look at those type of people, like when you look at them, it's like I almost like throw whatever op- opinion I was about to form about them out the window. It's like, oh, you regular. Yeah, facts. When you do that, you become regular to me. So I can't even. That should be hard for me because I be making, I be wanting to make people feel. As uncomfortable as they make me feel. That's, but I that's, can't play that game, so exactly, I play my game. Exactly. So you're mixing your thought pattern with a basic human's thought pattern. And that's a mistake that we make. We will do it, bro. But it's kind of fun, though. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, like, it's kind of fun, though. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. It, but it I, I swear, though. Like, I swear. Yeah. Like, people can say whatever they want about me behind closed doors. Got it. When I'm right there... Don't nobody be on nothing that they say so claimed. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Like I already know what it is, but and it's just like more more so the perception of me. Like I just be seeing shit. I don't really get, but like, but but I all this is said to say like this is just like old like. Things, yeah. Some things, like, sometimes I, I start thinking about something, and it'll trigger me to think, like, oh, this is why I felt like this. Mm-hmm. But, like, today, bro, I don't care. Like, <laughs> oh, my mama, I like, I don't care. Like, on, but- bro, I skate. Like, I film tricks, I get photos. That's it. Yeah. Like, you don't see me at no skate premieres. Yeah. I don't do nothing like that, because I really feel like skaters don't like me, for real. Yeah. Like, and... That might be my own, like, thing because a lot of people be like, no, nah, bro, like, people just want to see you skate. Like, they love you, da, da, da. And it's, it's like... True. There's a lot of There's a lot of love for you in the world that exists. It, it's just... It's harder to see it because, like, obviously, something that we'll do, I, or I don't really do it anymore, but I would see, like, the, oh, he thinks he's funny or blah, blah, blah. I'm going to pull up to your premiere still. Yeah. That's like... Like, it's like where you say, you know how See, but I'd be like... I'd be like, that... It be lame because you going to go there. Well, like, you kind of got to go there. Yeah. Like, in a like, sense, like, I don't actually, I'm, I'm not on any of these people's company and, like, the video's going to come out and I'm going to have the file for it. It's but just you like, got to be in the know. Like, you got to be the first one. You, you got to be one of the, the first ones to I see it. I did was is that I was telling skateboarding I'm going to be outside. If I'm yeah. going to talk when I'm talking every week about these people, I'm going to be where it was like he was over there. And yeah. I've been over there a hundred plus times. Yeah. Like, and it's, it's, it wasn't even like a bad way in the ego to try to prove myself as like a tough guy. It was like, I've made a living off one of the hardest things to do in human possibility. And I'm trying to joke about it to give these people a platform and some of them don't agree with it. So I at least got to pull up. Yeah. I was giving skateboarding like, like some love, like, Hey, like I got you. Yeah. I'm really here. Like I'm a part of it. You feel me? If I'm a talk, I'm gonna be a part of it. Because it's hard to do, bro, and uh, I'm making jokes about it. But at the same time, I just think, honestly, you don't have wrong in your mind. I'm just saying it's like a, it's not wrong. You're not wrong for feeling the way you do. Because it. it, I know I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. The only time I ever felt like I was wrong when I was listening to what somebody else told me. Or was trying to make me or turn me into like. That's the only time I ever felt confusion in my life. Mm. I follow my own rules because I I know what I I know what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Like I know what all my sponsors want from me. I know how to be a professional skateboarder. I know what it takes. So like, yeah. The main thing that I had to get over was the mental, and, and and like how I feel about like stuff that I can't control. I can't control how nobody feel about me. Nah. All I could do is go be the greatest person that I could be every day. Exactly. I can't control if people understand me. Because I really be feeling like, bro, if people understood me, you'll understand that I'm not tripping. Yeah. But, like, 
I'm not the easiest person to understand at all because it go here, there, this, 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 this. So it's like, I really want to apologize. Like to a lot of like people like, or to like a lot of energy that you put out. You want to apologize to the energy, not the people. I want to apologize for confusing a bunch of folks for no reason. Yeah. So it's the energy. I My message, the people that my message was ever for, you feel me? Like on some on some negative stuff, that message is like too deep mm. to like it's not nobody else's business. Yeah, and that's where it's like you put people in your business too much. Now that you give them like a perspective or an idea that they could run with or, or which is like what I, that's uh, something I was thinking about. Like when I did that, I, I don't do interviews. Like I, I started hosting this to like, I, I really want to be like kind of closed off. Yeah. I don't want to let people in. I, I don't yeah. like, it's just not something I wanted to do. Like I always wanted to give a character, a personality to somebody I love this. But I already activity. know you. So like, I can, I already know. Cause you like, feel me? <laughs> you know? I, already, bro, I know you. So it's like, yeah. So for real, it's like, I want to be closed off. Like, I don't want to let people, you know, bro. And then like, I don't like to feel like anybody should have a thought or idea about me because they're not going to carry me six feet deep. Yeah. They're not truthfully. It's like, bro, they can type whatever they want do all this stuff. And like, and I, I, the thing is, though, I have to take in the love because the love puts me where I am today from what I come from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All the love is like, I got, I got to take the energy in. But the negativity, what am I supposed to do with it? That's the balance of like... I'm supposed to figure it out? Like, that's the that's the balance of how it, go, how it go with me in my head where it's like, people show me so much love. Mm -hmm. Like, like it low-key be like making me want to cry sometimes. Because yeah. it's like... Like, I be like, you can't let people trick you out your spot. You can't let people make you feel bad about something that, one, you're good at, one, you done put on for, like, 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 I, I'm proud. I'm so proud that, like, you could go ask plenty of people in skateboarding right now, mm -hmm. like, Especially, like, black people. Mm -hmm. Like, I done helped a lot of people out in this in this, in this this thing. Like, Bro, I, got, I done planted seeds. Like, people don't know your web at all. That's what I'm saying. So, I be like, Bro, you can say what you want, but I'm solid. Like, yeah. I, I'm super solid. Like, yeah. I'm super solid. Like, as far as, like, how, you feel me? Like, what I look at and what I applaud in people, like, oh, you got on, you put your people on, you take care of your folks, like, you made it so that your people could eat. You feel me? Like, yeah. in a different way. Not on no, like, schemey type, but yeah, it's like just like... real legit. Bro, like, I, I, I really be doing that. So I really had to, like... I had to low-key accept... I really just said, you know what? Like, after my pops went to jail, I was like, I'm finna turn up. Like, I'm finna turn up. And... Like, and which way? Like, it's just like Future say, I embrace the love on the bad day. Yeah, oh uh, God, like oh God, uh, the bars, oh God. the bars, but the new bars. It's super cliche, but when you stay positive and when you focus on what you're doing, and like you go out skating every day, mm -hmm. that's what helped me. Yeah. Like, you go out skating because it's like you get a couple clips. And you gonna start talking to people that you don't talk to every day, like that often. Yeah. Oh, I heard you been ripping and da, da, da. oh, let's plan to do this. All right, cool. Now I got you feel me. My opportunity, like, ain't go nowhere, but it's just like you gotta focus. Yeah, but it's hard definitely. to focus when you going through life. Yeah, and it's like, but that's still no excuse. No, and and, and you you're going through life, your profession. It, man, you have this you have this thing where no one goes home with you. Yeah. Nobody even lays down. Nobody knows anything yeah. after you go home. And then you have like this, you have, you might have bad moments, like continuous bad moments. You feel me? But even then they're not every day as well. Yeah. That's not who you are. It's just like sometimes stuff is bottled in cause you can't do nothing about it. 
right? Yeah. So, so you have to hold this, and then you have to like nurture these these appreciators. Yeah. You have to be like, bro, like, can I, <laughs> like, today I want to freak out, but I gotta be cool. That could be weird. Now you on that energy where you like, bro, I low key want to snap at everybody here, but you can't. I ain't feel like that in a minute though. But you, it happens. It happens, I feel like and that in a and it, it's an unfortunate feeling. But truthfully, like you said, you skating, you in your bag, you in your, you feel me, your, your company owner, your, you feel me, your music, your, your own producer, your, your own, you feel me, like, you're everything to you, like, you've done everything for yourself. Ain't going on, ain't nobody did that for me, like. That's what I'm saying. I had to do everything, like, you feel me, like. I wish I would have listened to people sooner. That's the only thing I wish that I listened to people sooner at is is knowing that like you could do everything that you want on your own terms. Yeah. But like grow, growing up in skating, you need that approval like because of how the industry is set up. Yeah. It's like Well, that's also made up too. 100%. <laughs> like but you low-key got to learn the game. Yeah. That's to true. Realize, so, hey, hey wait. I ain't even had to do all this. Like I could have did this. It still did the same thing. Oh, it's but crazy. It's crazy. It's almost like how they say there's all these skater owned companies. Yeah. Bro, all of them are skater owned companies. Yeah. Pal Peralta was Stacy. It's like it's yeah. everything was like the we went off and did this. We went off and did this. It's like people will be like, well, they just made Frog or they just made this or they just made F. Like, mm. bro, Don't everything was. Don't say that. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, I'm saying, sir. I was. <laughs> They just made these things. You know what I'm saying? These people just made these companies. Yeah. You feel me? It's all skate. Like, so it's like. We and are, it's supposed to be fun. It's my whole thing. Is yes, like, bro. Who, like, we're I, supposed I, to have fun. I want to know, like, from the founding fathers of skating, mm-hmm. like, why it is how it is and who put these people in charge. Because everybody be talking like, this is law. Two people to do the exact same thing, and everybody will say this is good because of this, this is bad because of that. Yeah, and it's the same exact thing. Same thing. It's just who does it. Yeah. So it's like you know. Yeah. Uh, well, I know how it go though, because that's back what we was talking about the first time. It's relatability. Yes. What somebody would do in your position is the, like everybody got an opinion on that. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have quit this company. They dumb. Now they mad. Now they just holding a grudge against you for nothing because you did something that they wouldn't do. Yeah. Or even understanding why you even made the decision. I swear. Not knowing anything. Not knowing while, not knowing anything, but you just made a decision and they don't agree with the decision and they have to. Hold on. This is best Nolly hard flip. Look. Probably in the world. Look at that. That's a Hall of Fame Nolly hard flip. 100%. Hey, the Nolly heel was way too whole line. I went crazy. <clears throat> Look at the catch. Stop playing with him. So, so now, to kind of get back into it, to like the structure of it, you, like you said, you, you're, you did the Culver days. You start filming in like middle school. You do a lot. Fairfax is happening. The, you know, you meet Tyler, this, that, and the third. Frank, boom. Life is escalating. What does that feel like? What I mean, does that like that momentum from from where you're really from, where you lay your head at, everything you know and understand to like, damn, I'm over here doing things for like what was that that photo shoot in New York? What was that? What magazine was that? Which one? When you guys filmed, uh, is it Oldie? Nigga. I mean, I was just, bruh. Just, hold, I'm saying from this this time. No, I, I'm telling from. you, like, that, like, I'll explain it as this. This is my big bros. And they was doing something. But, like, I never looked at it as I was doing it something with them. With them. Mm. Like, I was like, like, that's just my motivation in my bros. Like, yeah. we was all friends. Exactly. Real friends. Like, actual friends, too. Yeah, like. Yeah. Like before, I even really understood that they made music. We was all because we all was in the same around the same areas and stuff. Yeah. So it was all cool. So we kick it, and then like I was younger than them. Yeah. So like, 
they was kind of on some like, like, I don't, like you know how it is when you young. I was pretty quiet. Like, yeah. I wasn't really like doing too much. Like, I was kind of shy. Like, yeah. but I'd be outside skating though. So they were like, <laughs> you want Trey flip the uh, the six day first try that out and like, I'll go do it. Like what? You Stop feel me? Then, you oh, me. <laughs> so then it's like. It's like, yeah, we all friends. Like, we just all friends, hung out. Yeah. I use that. I use their success as motivation to be successful on my own. And that's exactly what I was talking about. I'm like, not trying to. See, this is another thing is I think happened to you is you got put in that box that you were a part of that globule, even though you really were that's your, fam- your family. But it's like, at the same time, I'm saying your origins to that, to realize that, like, Los Angeles has an appreciation for you, knowing that you come from the middle of it, and it's not that friendly where you originate. Yeah. To now, it's like, damn, I can low-key go anywhere. I can low-key, like, I got, like, a higher sense of freedom. These people want to give me clothes. I can make money off this. What is that feeling like? And, like, you just explained it. It it puts you in a... <laughs> you get the photo right there. It, oh, shit. <laughs> took it back. It uh, puts, like you said, it, it, it just, it was a motivator. It's just a yeah. huge motivator to keep going. So now, we go from there to this next point who you skated for and all these other things and this level of popularity to going pro, right? Looking at your three-year-old self, did you ever think that this was a part of your story? Yes. Mm. <laughs> I made it. Mm. Like, I created this reality for myself. Yeah. Like, I fought for this. Yeah. Like, I knew. But see, that'd be the thing that I'd be trying to tell my friends and whatnot. Like, like, a lot of, you feel me, a lot of my friends be around me, and, like, we always eat. Yeah. Like, all of us, we always eat. We always skate. We having fun. We, whatever we do in our leisure, we could, you feel me, we do that. Yeah. And I be telling them, like, bro, it's easy. All you got to do is give up your life to this shit. Like, yeah. put everything on the line. I've been putting everything on the line since I was 10. Like. Granted, okay, you scared to do some tricks, but like, I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna fight for everything. I done got in trouble by my parents. I done disrupted my household because of it. Like, yeah. just on the fact that it's like, like, like my mama would tell you, like she used to be able to punish me in all type of ways. She couldn't take that skateboard away. Just like that don't make no sense. It's the only way I'm gonna make it, and don't nobody do nothing for me. Yeah. Don't nobody knew nothing for none of us. Yeah. Like, so I actually, I could see, like, I'm watching videos and seeing, and I'm like, this is a dream. What videos you watch? Like, online internet videos, like, just, like, stuff of people skating and traveling the world and being in an airport. Like, it didn't take much then. Like, I don't even know what I was watching. I type type in skateboarding <laughs> yeah. on YouTube, like, you and see just people click, being like. Out. Like, they out. Yeah, so it's like, then you'll see, like, I, I remember the Silver Trucks video. Like, it was like a team video. Mm-hmm. And I think Chaz had a thing in there. I think so. It was like Lemon Villaman and yeah. Brandon Beeble and all type of yep. people. And, and P-Rod. And I just remember watching that video, and it was talking about, like, how it's like a brotherhood, and we're traveling the world together, da 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 And I used to see people talk about, like, you know, I get paid to do what I love, da 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 So I'm like... You know, and then like Baker Three, you start seeing people. Okay, you got chains on, and ooh, so it's like yeah. it's some money somewhere. <laughs> it's some money somewhere. You feel me? I just me? gotta go find it. I gotta figure point. out how to get it, like yeah. because like at the end of the day, bro, everything I do got to be lucrative because I gotta take care of my family. I've been having to take care of my family since I was young. I ain't never had no childhood for real. Yeah. Like that's why it's like being around Tyler and all these people is fun because they goofy as hell. Like yeah. I was not goofy. Like I really would use that to fuel me. To be able to go home and be happy and smile, you know? I and can. people need to really be like, why are you smiling? Like, what's what's so funny? Like, because I just be sitting there just cheesing, like, because it's like, bro, I'm happy. For what? Like, I'm laughing. Like, y'all funny. Yeah. We, I'm, we skating. Uh, I just got some free food because, yeah. like, like. Because when I go home, it's not going to be this reality no more, in a sense. It's yeah, a, like. Is it's that just what you like, feel like? I just know, yeah, because, like, back then, like, all right, my mama, she'll work through the night. Yeah. It's like, 
shit, I'm about to eat as much food as I can. Like, yeah. You feel me? Because I know. It's a real climb. Exactly. It's a real climb. It's like so, an actual climb for you. So it's just, you know, being accepted. Being accepted feels nice. That yeah. that That's what I'll say. Okay. That's what I'll say. Being accepted by people that you think is cool is very, very nice. Yeah. Like, that's awesome. So the night you go pro. And being respected. The night you go pro, um, a lot goes down in that night. <laughs> you, you heard the story from KB? T- yeah, I, bro. I, I, I don't know if I was there or came the next day, but when you couldn't find Kevin or something like that, right? Nah, it, so we was on tour, right? Like, yeah. I was on tour with Tebe because I had, look, during the way days, I hurt myself. Mm-hmm. Went on tour with Tebe because my ankle was just fucked up. I kept messing it up more. Yeah. Bro, like, come... First, I was going to be a DJ, but I didn't learn how to DJ. Mm-hmm. He was like, be a hype man. Yeah. So I was a hype man. And then I was getting paid per show. I was like, okay, cool. Like, It's nice. Yeah, like <laughs> I, I'm traveling the world. I'm like, okay, this is nice. Like we had a tour bus and they got the rider and we, yeah. you feel me? Like we just live in life. So we go to skate park sometimes. Like it was cool. And I was healing. But like we had a show in Vegas. We drove back. And, like, I could see on the ground that Kevin had turned pro. I was so sad. Because you weren't there. I, yeah, I just felt like, I felt like, bro, this one of my best friends, I grew up down the street, like, y'all couldn't plan this no other way. Mm. Like. Felt burnt out. I just was like, y'all wouldn't think I wanted to be there. Like, I was so, like, I was happy. I was super happy for Kevin. For Ke- for sure. Yeah, yeah, of like, course. A lady. Off top, but I was just like. Like, I started, like, really being, like, I started, like, regretting ever going on a tour. Like, I was just, like, this is, this is trash. Like, because, yeah. you know, like, the tour is cool. Like, it's fun. But it was just, like, I want to be there for that moment. Like, I was just, like. Life-changing moment. Like, a yeah. life-changing moment for, like, a real-life person that's actually lived that same construct as you. Exactly. Those those type of uplifting moments, they bro, when you don't get to be a part of them, they're insane, bro. Yeah, so that like, had me sad. Yeah. But so we driving back, right? We driving back. We on the road. We get back at like 4 in the morning. This is when I was staying at Tevin House. We was on 12th Street. So we pull up, and I see people moving around in the bushes. Like, I see people, like, moving around. I'm like, what the f- <laughs> Like, what's going like, on? What? Yeah, it's, it's late, too. Don't so play. I'm like, y'all see this? Like, what's going on? Then I see, like, a body on the floor. Like, it's just a body on the floor. In front of the crib. Like, in, the, in like, the driveway. So I'm like, what the, what the hell? So I'm like, hell no. So I hop out the van, and I'm looking around, and I go over, and the closer I get, I'm like, he just Kevin. Like, what the fuck? So I'm tweaking out. Like, I'm like, bro. I pick him up. I'm like, bro, you good? Bro, fried, like... <laughs> He was just fade like super fried, like right. And I'm like, I'm like low key, like I'm about to start screaming and shit, like. And I'm like, bro, like, bro, like, what's up? He like, uh, I'm like, what's good? What's up with you? Like, why is you out here? Like, you don't like you don't live by here. Like, yeah, at all. What like, are you doing over I'm here? Like, why is you right here? Like, what's up with you? Like, you good? Like, like trying to like get brother wake up and talk to me yeah. or whatever. And he got a board. But I'm not even worried about that. Like, this nigga's face down <laughs> on the floor right now. Like, yeah, right and I see like, like people moving around. So I'm like. Bro, and I started seeing people pop out the cut and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> then, then I'm like, he like, he he like handed me the board. I'm like, bro, I know. Like, I'm proud of you, bro. Like, I love you. Like, congratulations. Woo, woo. And I look at the board. It's my face on the shit. <laughs> I'm like, it's four in the morning. I'm like, oh what the God. heck? It's yeah. So they, they turn you bro at four a.m. after you get back. So it is a plan for you. And do you think that you know? Because that was, like, the next day, right? You when, went You went the next day when you went pro? It was, like, the next... I mean, technically, we, we were supposed to kind of go pro in the same, same day. Same day. So, but since you were gone... But it was, like, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Like, I was gone. We came back. Okay. So, but, so all this all this happens. You move on. You you do... You do... What, what's going on? I was just looking at that picture. <laughs> so, <laughs> as all this is going on, and... Like there's like we this went back on tour. We went yeah. back on tour. Like yeah. So you leave. the next day you you left again. Yeah. Like I turned pro from four a.m. to like 
three. Yeah. And then we like went back on tour. <laughs> and I was like, I was going through it in my head because I was just like, bro, I'm pro. Like, all I want to do is give skateboarding like everything I got. Nah, like, yeah. I want to like, because I didn't feel like I deserved it. Like, I wanted to work for it more. But like, you know how like. But you don't see this is what I'm saying though. Also, I feel like pro skateboarding versus, versus being the skill and how you want to ideally have it, which is. I respect that you feel like you didn't deserve it. It was like you were part of culture phenomenon. You're a part of people that look like us that were more special than just the talent. And also your drive, you were going to bring the talent anyway. People know that. People that are close to you, that talk to you, know that you're going to try to make sure that that pro board has respect behind it. You're not going to just take it and rest on a laurel. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, for sure. But, like, I just still wanted to earn it more. Yeah. Like, I just was, I felt so new mm. in, like, skating. Yeah. I felt like everything was still kind of new. I felt like how I seen people turn pro, like, it wasn't just, like. Do you have an example of somebody that part. turned pro in, like, a way that feels like a, you know. Like, I feel like it took them a long time to turn, like, Sean Malto pro. Yeah. Like, I feel like he did a lot of work. I feel like, but then it's also maybe I did that work from the outside perspective. I could only see from the inside. Exactly. So it's like, I feel like they took it took Antoine some time to turn pro. Mm -hmm. Paul, do you know when we was kids, Paul was never pro. When did he turn pro? Bro, I don't think till Plan B or something. Somebody said Paul Rodriguez never turned pro when we were kids. And I, I never looked into it. I just well, exactly I just accepted but, it. But I feel like that was the whole <laughs> thing. Like nobody really turned pro quick. Like yeah. it always took like five to seven years for somebody to turn pro. Well, back in the day, they used to turn pro really quick. They used to turn in like one video VHS and then get a board like a little bit after that. After they probably oh, so maybe it's just like a cycle. And then also like the way yeah. Also today it's like th those dudes were only doing one thing. You know, you were mostly multifaceted. So it was like you were doing all these things. And I know that you were like, bro, I don't want to use. I think I was I'm, just viral. Yeah, exactly. But you were like, I don't want to use who I kick it with or what else I do. I want to be good at this and then be rewarded for yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah, And that's a mental battle that you're probably going through on tour. For sure. So you do the tour. And then you come off. Um, You, you do a tour. You come off. You get on. You do the three strikes video, the intro for that. You get on there. Uh, it, it was like the introducing the three. It was like you, TJ Miles. Uh, I think I was. What time is that? I was on Adidas before I went on a tour. Okay. Before I turned pro. Okay. Because the new stripes, that's like after Cherry. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like that's in between Definitely. Cherry and... Like I think I was like after we after Cherry came out when I got on Adidas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That sounded about right. And then you you're on there, you do all this. Is has that ever was that ever like a dream company or did that just kinda like fall what? To, to right hand? Was Adidas ever like a dream company for you or like Hell yeah. yeah. I mean like I used to watch that video Diagonal so much. Mm. And I used to just really like I used to like how Dennis Boosnitz skated in Gazelles. Yeah. Like, I just liked how it kind of reminded me of, like, I don't know, it was real, like, hip hoppy. Yeah. To me. Yeah. Um, And <laughs> now, like you said, you, you kind of manifested every bit of everything that came towards you. So now I kind of want to, like, pivot over to since you talked about being on a tour, the music side of it. Yeah. Um, obviously, you, 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 I know you've had some backgrounds in it, and then you had the friends that did it. What made you want to be like, let me take this on? Was it just like this skateboarding? Like Going during that the, tour. Yeah, because you said you had an injury, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, it was like, all right, for sure, I see the show money. I, not the money, but like I see this. I see what I can do when I have a time off. Yeah, well, like, the main, all right, so, like, my main thing was, like, damn, if I can make, like, music that's good enough, like, because people always, use, you feel me, like, people will tell you, hey, bro, like, you should, 
you should really fuck with the rap. Yeah. You should start rapping. You start rapping. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't really care to rap. You feel me? Like, my friends do that. Like, it, I always thought it would be kind of lame to, like, hop on that bandwagon. Like, because I thought, like, because of the timing. Like, if I if I was making music with all my friends before they went up, mm-hmm. then I would just be like, okay, we all make music. But, like, I didn't want it to look like a, oh, y'all made it doing this. I'm going to try to do what y'all do. Like, yeah. I always thought that would be weird because it's the same way how people get around me try to start talking about they get trying to pick up the board yeah. like you don't need to yeah exactly but like you don't love this yeah but it's like I mean I did them shows and I I kind of I kind of wanted to like do more yeah. but I didn't want to ask my friends who was professional musicians like because that's some more. Yo, let me hop on this. Let me, oh, let me get on the song. Like, but I enjoy rapping. Like, I enjoy putting the words together. I like how people reacted to the words. Mm-hmm. Like, I like the fact that people, like, hold, like, a verse like DNA, like, dear, close to their heart. Because oh, yeah. it comes from the heart. Yeah. So it's like, I kind of just got in tune with it through that. Like, and it became, like, a hobby. So it's still just a hobby. Like, I think people be, like, people be, like, talking so crazy, like. Oh, like I'll fall. Like I'll post a, a video of me bailing. Mm-hmm. People be like, that's what you get for trying to stop skating and become a dumbass rapper. Like, bro, what? <laughs> I ain't never stopped skating. Yeah. Nah. Like, like now, if we want to get into the politics of why I ain't put out a part, you feel me? You got to think about it. Like, but it's because skating is like, it's 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 not a it's a two way street. Yeah, you, it's it's not a team sport, but you need other people to play players to do, yeah exactly. to come come up with something good, right? right? So it's like you can't go out one or two one or two days and then not go out for a month. Yeah, and that's then true too. You feel me? One day try to pop out at a banger spot and try to get like you got to work every day, every day, every day. So it's like you just gotta lock in with people. And then you know me, I'm quick to quit a company, and you feel <laughs> you me? Like, like yep. I don't like how I don't like I don't how like how this is going. Feel. Like, I don't like what you said. Exactly. Like, I don't oh like God. how you presenting it. Or it's just like, like I don't like middle. how y'all treating me for real. Because at the end of the day, y'all not putting respect on my name. So mm-hmm. we just might as well. You feel me? Instead I of will. me letting you disrespect me, I'ma just shake. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And that's that. Because because another thing is too, none of these people sit in a higher power. It's like something I want these kids to understand. Like these people aren't they these are just guys. They really just cornballs. They just guys, bro. Like, like everybody at the end of the a cornball. <laughs> like <laughs> everyone. Oh, <laughs> you gotta think about it, bro. Like, you gotta think about it like I done I done been in conversations with people and you just gotta realize they're just separate. Like, people just be separate from what I'm used to yeah. or what I grew up around. Exactly. So I don't judge nobody no more. Yeah. Like, I used to be on some, like, if I understand you, you should be able to understand me. But it's like, I understand you. And low-key, you could never understand me. Mm. So, like, I just don't play the game no more. Mm. Like, and I don't... I don't want to say like I don't play the game no more. Oh shit, my bad. Uh, kick the camera. I don't want to say like uh, <laughs> I don't want to say like I don't play the game no more. Like on some like uh, so I'm not involved in skating. Like I'm very much so involved. Like I know all the skaters. I be skating with all the skaters. Like everybody that skate. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That I feel comfortable with, choose to skate with. Yeah. You feel me? And and like. Yeah, that's that. Nah, it, that's, that's what I was just saying. That's say, really like, all it is. Once uh, you simplify it, then it gets easier. Facts, and that's why I was like, these dudes are just guys. This whole industry yeah. is just full of just men that not dudes. other people. They are dudes. They're just dudes, bro. They, yeah, exactly. I met just, very little like solid man yeah, in this. Yeah. In this thing. Damn, there's very few. Men like it ain't no. It, it, it's like like I be talking to Tyler and he be like, "Oh, this is the type of like man that I want to be when I get older." I ain't met no really. I ain't really met no nobody like that. Maybe Pure Eye. Yeah, Paul. Like definitely Paul. I, I think Pure Eye solid. Yeah, Paul's a man. I think Paul's Paul, a man, and, yeah. and it's like you got, you, got I got, you got to respect that. I, you know, he like it. He he like you got a family. 
Pause him. He did man, well man. by himself. He's solid. Like he he looked like comfortable. I ain't, I don't never see him like. He he definitely. I feel like he just showed everybody love. Like I always see him showing love. I ain't never seen him like. Even while still having opinions on stuff too, so yeah. it's like, like, I think P. Rod is a goat. Yeah, that's definitely. And then that takes me actually to when you think of your Mount Rushmore of skateboarding, who's your top four all time, no add-in skateboarders? Who is your Mount Rushmore of skating? We do it every episode. Look, you gotta uh, see the graphic that we pull up when we do it too. Hold on, it's me four times. <laughs> Show. <laughs> wait, I can't wait till that pop up. You can't wait. It's gonna come up um, in a second. <laughs> One second. Here it is. Wait. So it's your about Rushmore, and who's on it? Um, Dylan Reader. Uno. Antoine Dixon. Mm. Brian Herman. Mm. Uh, I'm going to do a four as an interchangeable one. Okay. Like, sometimes it'll change, like, depending on, like, what the vibe is. <laughs> you, 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 you feel what I'm saying? Like, yes, exactly. sometimes, sometimes you wake up and be like, hell yeah. Like, like, you go back and watch a party and be like, oh, hold on. Nah, crazy. I will say though, like, a lot of, nah, I'm not gonna say that. Yeah. But a lot of old skaters used to get away with a lot of bullshit. Yes, they did. Like, it happened. There's a lot of people that get a lot bus of, bus up like, chain skated for show. Bus up chain skated for show. Bus up, bus up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look, a lot of people know a lot of things about the so so you you <laughs> you have a, do you have a fourth or as you say it goes interchangeable and who who sits as do you like, win it like but you say you can't add on you so can't it's, like, it's really your top four like when they come to mind who's your favorite four skaters all time bro Dylan Antoine Herman like. Like, I can't do a fourth because it's too many people. Like, what you mean? Like, lately. Yeah. Like, I, I would probably say Grant Taylor. Okay. But lately, I really, I'd probably say Heath Kirchhart. Okay. Because, like, low key, mm. I used to not, re- like, I like how dramatic his parts is. They're always built beautifully. Bro. Like, and, like, that's somebody that inspired me. Mm-hmm. I could say Rowan. Wait, I'm tweaking because I ain't say none of the game. Like, see, but then, but see, it's unfair. It's unfair. It's, like, it's unfair. No, no, no. Like, that's because unfair. That, that's that's that that's the way that the thought is going. Because then you start to open up everything you like about it. But you got to remember, like those guys that were just like that helm. Because the bros, the bro, the bros can be on our list too, of course, all day. Because obviously, like when people ask me who do I go with, I go Jones. I go blah. You feel me? I go all RP. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's how I'm finna do it. And then I go suit you, right? I'm thinking more when I think about my Mount Rushmore. I think about who built me, exactly. Like That's who who saying. created me. Who like, is in that this field of thought when you think of your greatest realm of your th- how you're even cultivated? Like that's what I'm saying. That's that four, and that's why Heath and Grant make sense. That like I can get that. See, but I could, but see, but like if we be here for real, I could put like Mike Moore and Sean Mato there too. Ooh. See, like, it, that's I why it's, it's unfair. It's, right. This is unfair to me personally. Like, Knock is fired from Mount Rushmore, chat. He I can't. I because can't. he can't. And I, I can only do a top three. I, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the mountain's just me. I'll just leave. I got four. If y'all put the graphics on all the faces, just leave the fourth one. Can my, my can my fourth one be like the Rose, the Rorsash mask? The ro- so <laughs> it just changed, like... It's it just like be flip. yeah, like it, it's, it's a graphic and it just rotates over. Yeah, over. it's gonna be like a it, like the painting of Harry Potter. Okay, it's just gonna okay. be a painting of a different nigga. You gonna walk out <laughs> and sit down like every time they come do. There you go. <laughs> All right, well, you know, not about to. This is what I do at the end of the show. I do something called a million bars. So I put a beat on by my producer D. You fucking lying. I swear every episode. I promise you. Every time I've done, I, I did. I see Kevin do this. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin did listen to my freestyle and do whopping on him. Oh, he listened to the freestyle. He didn't. He didn't rap. So I usually do it. Oh, so you had to do it. Oh, yeah. But what I do first before that is I want to ask you, what's your favorite X Games moment? My favorite X Games moment? Of all time. 
Oh man! All right, keep it a hundred. Keep it. When, all right, when X Games was on the TV, this low key like I, I remember we just got the little TiVo or whatever where you could rewind it, where you mm-hmm. could like uh, record, yeah. and they did the street course on the what? Why is that a th- <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> hey, Ooh. yo, y'all tweaking, Ooh. y'all tweaking. Hey, hey, hey time there. though. They over there. Producing. Hey, time though. They over there producing that. Don't even- that was a photo shoot. I had that was that was, that was a photo fire. shoot. I That's ain't never fire. wore a bait. That's fine. I ain't never wore a bait. <laughs> like on my own time, I never wore a bait. That's so fire. That's so uh, fire. Also, uh, let me go ahead and give the promo to the Hardy's gang. Shout oh yeah, King. for sure. Shout out to shout out shout to out King. HG Hardy's Hardware King Skateboards. Yes. You already know what it is brick underneath. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Race Wait, what was stuff, I saying before I seen that? But yeah, we were asking what your favorite. You were saying TiVo. Oh, okay, all right. It was an X Game Street Course, and it had like tile. Mm-hmm. And I remember Eric Costin, Andrew Reynolds, P. Rod was in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ryan Sheckler was in it. Okay. And I recorded on TV, and I used to watch that all the time, like the finals. Yeah. And they was going off. I don't know what it was. Oh man, I I, I can't remember the year, year bro. Yeah, I can't. Be, I can't remember I, the I year. I keep wanting to say Orange Rails. Was there Orange Rails like there? Like, cause they had like a fake brick setup, kind of. I might be thinking of something else, and I could. I could uh, bro, I, I, I be breaching. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I really, I don't know if it was orange rails, but I just remember it was like a four block mm-hmm. and it was like tiles and it was all different colors. Mm-hmm. So you might not be off with the, with the, the orange rails. with the orange rails, okay. but I'm not sure. Yeah. But I just remember like the tile four block. Yep. And I remember always watching that video, like this is before I on seen skate video. So I used to watch it on TiVo, just like go to the saved, go watch like, or the recordings, go search for it, watch it. Like, like that, and then I remember the one where it was like, uh, I don't like it was like on the side of the Staples Center, mm. and like it was like over the bush. Yep, like I was like P Rock came out white tee. That was a long time ago, and I was there when Travis Pastrana did the double backflip. No, you didn't. That was the only time uh, television made me cry. For real, I cried when Travis Pastrana landed that. And I seen the nine hundred in real life, like on TV. Like I watched it on TV. I, I watched the 900. Like, it it, hey, yo, it, it went on. Hard. Like, they extended the thing because yeah. the contest had ended. Like, I watched that. Yeah, bro. I, what I remember was the, the Sports Center replay of it. Like, it was like. Nah, I remember seeing that too, but I watched yeah, that whole thing. I didn't, I didn't see the original nine. I remember because that was when they didn't used to have much, I don't think, on ESPN. I think it was going to go to Sports Center, so they just let it go. And then they were like, yeah, this just happened in this. And then all of a sudden, I was like, where's Hoop at? <laughs> and then nah because my birthday in july right mm-hmm. so i think x games will happen like the month after my birthday yeah. like in like august between the sixth fifth like between the fifth and the eighth mm-hmm. and so my mom would take me like she took me to maybe like four of them yeah she took me i think she took me to four of them until they stopped being in LA. Yeah, they used to strictly be in Los Angeles. I yeah. remember that for a long time. That, and that was fire, just going there. Like you seen Travis was trying to do the double backflip live. I was sitting in the st- in the stands. Hell no! Like, oh bro. god! I would have. Oh god! I would have rocked me, bro. That's it was crazy, bro. Like because it was just me and my mom in there. Like, see, but then this is what's crazy too. How hey. did there? Did you feel the? Did you feel it as well? Because. T- the television line. Oh, yeah. Bro, they had the wife give him a hug oh, because yeah. they was like, you know, if he doesn't land this, the way he flipping, like, bro, you ever see, and I've seen when they fall on dirt bikes, you like, hey, yo, hold on, like. Nah, and you know what else, bro, did? He did the, uh, he did shit where he let the bike go and spun around. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I think that was the that same was, one. Yeah, that was that, I think that was that same one. I was just tripping because, like, <laughs> back then, like, I, like, I was on all extreme sports, mm-hmm. like, I, I wasn't on a motorcycle, though. Like, I couldn't afford all that. Like, you feel me? Like, you got to be rich to get it. In. <laughs> get a dirt bike. I remember the dirt oh, bike God. kids. I'd be like, hold on, bro. Y'all got way more money than we do. Yeah, it's hey. crazy. It's very fortunate. That's a lifestyle. Yeah, 100%. So, you just watching that. You watch him double backflip. That's one of your. But you said that 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 Ryan Sheckler, P-Rod, Reynolds. Eric Costin. Costin like, replay finals. is your X Games favorite moment. Yeah, but now that I think about it, that double backflip was hard. <laughs> <laughs> that 
I hey, see some big air contests. D- double backflip got me, bro. That got me. I think the double. As... I think the double backflip might be the best one, bro. That was one of the craziest moments ever. It was like the way he did it. The way if you watch it on video today, like that was like one of the cleanest ones. He landed in the dirt. The wheels. It was like that was no no no. I'm gonna go. I'm all right. I'm, I'm gonna say it like this. I'm gonna say it like this because you know I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a, a, a weird answer every time. Yeah, exactly. For the childhood, not kill. What I mean, they both childhood, but like on some like, wow, this is like where I want to aim to strive to be. Like mm-hmm. this is motivating. This is inspirational. Mm-hmm. The 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 recording. But then, like on some like crazy wow factor. Like I can't believe that I witnessed this in real life. Yeah, it's a man doing backflip. double backflip on the dirt. That's like probably that's like seeing the flu game. Like, Bro, like. Wow. It had to. It has Talk to about be putting in perspective, right? Wow! That like was you good. at the flu game, you there watching, bro? Not double get to the bench. Like, yeah, like Michael Jordan falling to the bench. Like you just seen Travis was trying to double backflip on a dirt bike. Yeah, and you just captivated. Yeah, I think I think that's the one. Shout out to that. So, hey, I don't know how we gonna get the beat, but I gotta do my million bars. I have to, and. And being that knock is a freestyle king, oh, I'm gonna need you to hop in with me. If you're not in your mode, it's good, but you already know I'm gonna try to pick it up. I just need a beat. That's all I need. <laughs> hey, producers. One second. Yeah, we're gonna get it right. We chilling, but knock hell. Hey, before we get that beat, love, you feel me? Appreciate you. Hey, thank you, you for having me out here, Gary. Of Gary's. course, man. I'm glad. I'm glad, you know, I know you don't really take much or you're not offered many opportunities to like speak your mind or have like, you know, these talking platforms or even want to do them. So it's like, I do appreciate you trying to take your time and that I've created a safe space for everybody to like, yeah, you my dog. So you already know how we rocking. Yep. So thank you family. I really do appreciate you when the, with the band shout out to you, everybody that was in chat. No, this is not a pre recording. We was just talking, man. And oh, the way wait, that, should we talk to the chat? We could, yeah, yeah. He said, under Vat, under Vatten says, such a good interview as always. Yeah, now this one, this one was definitely like something from the heart. I, had, I wanted to let Knox speak. I always like to let my, my guest speak or whoever comes through here, but I just, I just know you don't do this often. What's up, so. chat? <laughs> What's up, chat? <laughs> so, yeah, thank everybody. D, I'm trying to play your beat, but I don't know. Yeah, he said, I have your shoes. Shout out to them. There's people on TikTok as well. Uh, they said, Gucci. why leave F.A.? Yeah. Should I tell them? You can. I left F.A. Like, I literally left F.A. Because one day I called T.J. And he had told me, like, yo, I uh, I talked to Dill and told him I'm finna quit. And I was like, you finna what? <laughs> I was like, who you finna skate for? Like, you finna skate for another company or what you finna do? He's like, nah, 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 I finna do my own thing. I'm like, well, shit, I'm coming with you. <laughs> hey, what you talking about? Like, because that's the type of friend that I am. That's the type of person that I am. Yeah. Like, don't ever question, you feel me? Loyalty. My loyalty, bro. Yeah. Because, like, if I know that I got a name and I got the fans at a bio board and I know how hard it is to start a company. And it, uh, you, you feel me? I know people might think, like, I'm anti this or that. You feel me? But, like, it didn't even start off as no hate thing. Like, it wasn't like no, oh, F them. Like, Big problem. Yeah, like, controversy. I, like, all I wanted to do was help my friend succeed. I wanted to help my brother. Like, yeah, he don't even need no help, for real. But, like, yeah, whatever help I could give, whatever, you feel me, I could do to be a part of it. You gonna do. My, my, my yeah. you feel my me? We done been on this whole journey together. Yeah. So that's why I left. It didn't get like it didn't it didn't start getting um tricky till. Yeah, it didn't start getting tricky until <laughs> like after it's like, uh, you know, it's a little rumor. You, you know, people start calling your phone mad, like, Are you doing this? And it's like, well, you need to calm the fuck down. Yeah, exactly. Who are you talking to? Yeah, like you dial the yeah, number, like, but make sure you know who picking up. Exactly. Like <laughs> but then you feel me? I wanted to have a conversation, do it respectfully, have a dinner. Yeah. And nobody get back to me. And I'm like, damn, after nine years, like, oh, we can't, really like, yeah. we can't talk about this, like, regular people. You feel me? Yeah. And then I crashed out. I hit some people's phones, mad. <laughs> For sure. 
For sure, bro. Like, <laughs> I wasn't as mature as I am now then. Yeah. Because I was just like, bro, like, nine years of my life that I, like, dedicate to y'all. Like, anytime anybody ever tear, try to tear you down or get in my ear about who y'all used to be or what this is or what happened with y'all and this, I'd be like, nah, you tripping, period. Like, so. Yeah. It's like. It's whatever. That's but that's, like, the type of thing I've talked about where it's, like, it's hard to contain yourself. When you like, just you give so much love, mm-hmm. and then it's like you feel like it's not reciprocated. somebody wouldn't give you even a, it's not a time a day. It's not reciprocated. Like and it, it an hour thirty minutes. I understand you have your own schedule. I understand you have your own life. But let's make it work. Your own man, but let's make it work. At some point, you let's feel me? It. Communicate that. Line it up, like bro. I don't have Thursday, but I for sure got Saturday at six. Let's get it exactly. Because I'm easy, exactly. like yeah. bro. I don't you know, don't. Uh, my, I figure it out. Like, I communicate. I boom. Okay, this don't work. How about this? Okay, this not gonna work. This don't work for me. We we gonna lock it in. But I don't really care no more. You feel me? Like, exactly. It, it's just like and this, king skateboards. Period. And this is uh <laughs> before. Are we? I don't know if I'm still finding a beat, but I wanna. You're, you're good with, okay. Uh, one, one knock and then I'll go have a question and I'll reply to it. Okay, I got you. Oh, yeah, so I do it with the chat. So they'll pull up a word and I'll freestyle what's in the chat. Oh, okay. But uh, this is my message before we get into the freestyle is what I do. I'm going to talk to the kids because not gave a lot of the people, not just kids because it's adults, it's everybody. Not try to give you guys perspective on the industry. No, there there isn't love when they're making dollars off of you. There really isn't, okay? So make sure that you always protect yourself if you do enter skateboarding, 100%. Love it. I love skateboarding with all of me. It's given me every meal, every chain, every car, everything I've ever had. I owe it to the kick and the push and the pop. I really do. I promise you. But just being real, these are just dudes (laughs) that are in positions. They are not gods. We do not pray to them. We do not do it. You know what I'm saying? They're just gods. And then to knock, it's the moment of appreciation. Obviously, I took it in the intro to say, that you've been your own this entire time. But I want to make sure that you know your individuality, so respected. Your ideology, so respected. The way that you try to convey your message the best way you can, knowing that it is hard because you're battling all these things in your head, so respected. You, you, you're, you've climbed from treacherous, <laughs> treacherous places <laughs> To be in a prolific state. To be I a ain't gonna lie, you make me cry or so a, shit. To be a black company owner, to be a, a, a proud black man, to not kind of like let anybody take anything from you and not to leave it as race, just to leave it as human. I know. Because it's really never that. People be trying to call me racist, but it's not it's that. Not it. It's always, bro, it's, I swear to you, you just got to be there, but you're not like people don't be there. So it should never be out where people not at. If you wasn't there, you should never know. So, Low key. That's how I feel. That's what I learned in life. So I just want to say that it's been watched. It's been, uh, it's been observed. I've done a lot of observing and I've done a lot of paying attention and the judging is always going to be there. They're always yeah. going to judge us. They are. It's just natural for them to do, but you keep your chin up. Yeah, fist high and your chest out. Oh God, you, you feel me? And it, and I respect that as well. So, um, I commend you on being the man that you developed to be. Thank you, bro. And the next steps for you are being watched and they'll be appreciated. And you already know I'm gonna be right there. Thank you, bro. Too. And so, I appreciate you too, bro. You and it's it's likewise too, bro. Because we be having like we be you feel me like just like <laughs> you were no saying, idea. bro. We be going through it. You'll call me, <laughs> like no you feel me, like you. And I appreciate you too because you'll call me and tap in, like yeah. you'll tap in and see what I'm on, see how I'm doing, what's going on with my family. You feel me? Seeing what's, you feel me, and I do the same. So it's like yeah. seeing you grow into the man that you are today. You feel me? Yep. You feel yeah. me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what yeah, you're doing. No, 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 all right, cool. no, But yeah, but, I hear right, for sure. So, <laughs> everything, yep. you feel me? Being a skate shop owner, yep. you feel me? That shit inspired me because you my friend. So, it's like the same way how I get motivation from Tyler, all my other friends, Tebe, everybody. Like, I get that from all of my friends. Like, I want to see all my friends succeed. I want to see all my friends eat. I want to make sure that when we grow old, we... 
let's go. Where are we going? It's vacation. It's vacation season. Tight. Where we at? You feel you, me? You feel me? Everybody work Nobody hard. Nobody left behind. And Tight. You feel me? Somebody put NLMB in the chat. I respect that. You don't want to leave your brothers and don't turn and, and who you were, stay who you were when you get here. Drop yeah. that beat. I'm about to freestyle. Put the words in the chat. Is Can y'all hear the beat? Chat, I need W's if you can hear the beat. I think this is... Is this the same one again? Oh, damn. Hey. Where is oh, it at? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Where you got? Wait, where the... Uh, chat, you can hear it with the man. Uh. Uh. He said W. Oh, W's in the chat. Okay. Hey. Hold up. Hold hey. up. Hold up. Dub in the chat. Dub in the chat. Yeah, Hold up. Put up in the scat. Hold up. Gas in my bag. Oh. Got a backpack. Uh. It's a in that. Uh. Got a book bag. It's, it's a, a in that. that. <laughs> it's a in that. <laughs> you ain't smelling that. <laughs> Who that is? Where they at? <laughs> you can smell the pack. <laughs> Pulled up in a in the dough glitch. Uh. Then the beat glitch. I might skate switch. Pull up, kick, flip. Uh, I just made a flip. Uh, it hit mixtape. Uh, I just did a T. Uh, I just hit a dub. What? Got a 30 ball. Uh, got a 40 ball. Feel like Paul Wall. Go, go. I'm in Houston, Texas. We need to knock the pole. We need to drive it slow. <laughs> drive fast, I slow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hold on. He said, hey, swish. Hey, I take the dish. Knock through it up. I'm a alley oop the bitch. <laughs> Shout out to Jones. And Y is home. Yeah. All my brothers, yeah, we yeah. get money on the phone. Yeah. It be G code. Yeah. I'm in knock mode. We in go mode. We ain't never hoes. We gon' stay the bros. <laughs> we gon' get the cash. If you play with us, then we on your ass. Hey, don't spaz, boy, don't trip. You better stay on your board with them kick flips. You better watch your lips. You better watch your tone. I'm on another planet. G code phone home. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 Uh -oh. I see the feet in it. I see the feet in it. I was like, oh, hey, he just. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, that that's hard. Episode of Grinding on Wine. Had to do it. But yeah, I want to say thank you to everybody. I never freestyle on, on nothing ever again. <laughs> <laughs> ever again. <laughs> that was hard. Yeah, man. I, I got you. That was hard. But yeah, hey, you already know what to do. Sub if you have to. You feel me? Now, if you have Follow to, sub up. Sub, sub up. Want, turn up, me. man. Turn up. We'll be here every. Tuesday, Thursday, 6 p.m. Appreciate you, chat. If you're new here, thank you. I'm Gary Rogers. That's not Kel Smith. Be safe. Get the clip. Do whatever you got to do. Peace. I love you.